grab your block and sit with your legs wide. So you can kind of take a couple wiggles to get your legs nice and wide. And then press the backs of your knees into the mat. So really engage the quadriceps here and sit up nice and tall. If you feel like you're falling backwards here, you can put something underneath your tailbone to, get, to help you sit up tall. But trap the block between your hands and then bring the block overhead. And then look at the block and try to find a little bit of a sense of a back bend here. Don't let your big toes roll to the midline. Keep pulling the pinky toes out to the sides and just try, keep gazing at the block and just bring your body forward between your legs. Trying to bring your chest as low to the floor as you can and then push into your heels and bring yourself back upright. And then do it again. So trying to find that arch in your back, looking at the block, pushing the block away from you, try to bring your chest any closer to the floor and then sit back up. And then exhale and forward fold. Inhale and come up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale and come up. If you have a heavy block, extra points. <laughs> exhale, forward fold. And then pause here. Now push the block away from you. And now you can look at the floor, but try to find as if you could stick your tailbone back. So as if you could arch your low back and try to reach the block as far away from you as you can. Keep the legs nice and strong, pushing the back of the knees towards the floor. Maybe getting your chest a little bit closer to the floor. Hold here for 10, nine, pulling the pinky toes out to the side, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, set the block aside, set the block down. Bring yourself up. Okay, reach over and grab your blanket. And set your block off to the side now. Okay, nice wide legs. Again, drive the back of your knees into the floor. Pull the pinky toes towards away from you, away from the midline. And then place your hands on your blanket. Now again, stick your chest forward like we were doing the cobra pulls, right? So pull your chest forward. Try to keep a little bit of a sense of that arch in your low back especially and then push the blanket out in front of you. And then pull the blanket in and push the blanket out. Chest forward and pull the blanket back and push the blanket out. Now bring it in and push it out more to the inside of your right leg. And pull it back and then to center and pull it back and then to the inside of the left leg. Now, when you go to one leg or the other, don't allow the neglected leg to fall towards the midline. Trying to push the blanket farther away from you each time, keeping the legs super engaged. The more engaged the legs are, actually, the farther you'll get. <laughs> because the body feels supported, or at least that's how it works in my body. Let's do one more round. Keep your breath even and steady. Okay, now slide the blanket out to the inside, sorry, of your right leg. And now try to keep your chest as close to the floor as possible. Just swing the blanket along the floor to the left. And then slide to the right. Keep the legs super engaged. Don't let the, the far away leg fall to the inside. Keep pulling the pinky toe away from the midline on both legs, slide to the right. Slide to the left, slide to the right, slide to the left. Good, and then come back to center. Pull the pinky edge of your feet away from each other. You can turn your gaze more towards the floor and just try to push the blanket as far away from you as you can and hold here for a few breaths. Trying to roll your outer armpits towards the floor, make some space for your neck. Keep pushing the blanket away. It's as if you could push the blanket farther away from you using like your belly button. That's how much your whole body is involved. Breathe all the way down to the pelvic floor. And then slide the blanket back. 